Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It's a big filming day for me. As you can see behind me, I'm actually filming in my bathroom, which like I haven't done for a main channel video in a really long time, unless I've tried out like a makeup thing or a viral product or a trend. Um, but yeah, that is what we're doing today. We're gonna film like an old school YouTube video, like a get ready with me style video, which I've just been really craving. So I'm gonna be doing my makeup, answering some questions. That'll be up like, I don't know, in a couple weeks on my main channel. That'll be nice. And we're just gonna get our day started started i have actually like now even looking in the viewfinder it's crazy to me so i've been using this lash serum for like the last i don't know year or two i want to say and i have noticed that it has given me extreme dark circles around my eyes and i didn't notice it until like this week like i was always like oh other people say they got dark, dark spots or dark circles and like i never noticed that no it's definitely there. I have like um, cluster false lashes on right now, obviously. And these last like up to five days. So sometimes I wear them if I'm doing like something that day or that weekend or whatever. But in addition to that, I still am using a lash serum for when I'm just doing like my mascara because it makes my lashes so beautiful, so long. And like I'm now noticing how dark it's making my eyes. So I'm like, do I stop using it and have short lashes? I don't know. Or do I keep using it and have dark circles around my eyes? give or take. So we'll see what ends up happening with that. But yeah, it is actually Drew's kind of like leading up to his birthday weekend this weekend. So that'll be really fun. We're going to have some friends over on Saturday. We're going to have like a little birthday celebration. There's a potential we might go to Disneyland for his birthday because he has a couple days off next week. We'll see about that. That's like a very loose thing. So there may be some Disney footage in this vlog. You never know. But I just wanted to start off this vlog by saying hi, good morning, and we will check in in a little bit after my filming and after I'm like actually fully ready. <laughs> Right, it's a little while later. I've just finished up my kind of first round of filming and I'm like trying to decide, I'm like, okay, what's my plan of action here? Basically, I'm gonna start our dinner for tonight. We're doing a crock pot recipe. Drew was actually gonna start it, but he just called, got called into a call at work. So I was like, I'll do it because it gives me something to vlog, which I love. But also, I just realized we don't have the correct one of the ingredients. We're making chicken and dumplings for dinner tonight. We've done this. It's a delish recipe, I think is what it's called. We saw it on Pinterest years ago, and you just use like the store-bought can of biscuits, but they gave us a small one in our grocery delivery and we need a big one so i may need to run over to the grocery store just like super quickly to get that so i'm just trying to plan it out because i'm like okay it's like quarter to noon it takes four hours so i'm like do i film my last little bit that i need to film and then just be done with my filming and then start the recipe it's kind of what i'm leaning towards because this next little thing like the very last main channel thing that i have to film today probably will take like 20 minutes so Maybe I'll just do that. And then I can show you this recipe that I, I'm pretty sure I've vlogged before, but it turns out so good every time. Thanks for talking that out with me. <laughs> Let's go film the rest of this video. And then we will go on a little errand together. One of the things about like bulk filming, filming multiple videos in one day is that you have to change your clothes a million times. I don't wash them every time because I'm wearing them for like an hour <laughs> each time, but I have to pick out like three outfits and then like what accessories I'm gonna wear with which outfit, what order I'm gonna film things in, you know? So here is my final outfit of the day. This is a cute little rugby top that I got at the Rose Bowl, I think. And then I just cropped it into like a little crop top, so that'd be fun. Okay, there we have it. That is cute. Not with this hair. Listen, I am this close to cutting bangs again, but like proper, like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really at my wit's end with these bangs and like the just progression. I've tried to have my hair cut to more of like a gradual layered thing. And I like when my hair is curled, like the way it looks when I don't have bangs, but any other time I hate it. Like when my hair is up, I so prefer having bangs, but like every time I get bangs, I low key regret it, so I don't know. But also, I feel like I've been growing out my bangs for like a year. I know that's not accurate, but it feels that way. I'm gonna do like a cute little claw clip moment. Wow, that's spiky. Think of how much cuter this would look with bangs. Do you know what I mean? Ugh. I've never really liked my hair. Like every hairstyle I've ever had, I like wish it was different. So it's just kind of my cross to bear. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. There's not much else I can do about it. I'm probably never gonna be satisfied. It's fine, no worries. Okay, I think I'm gonna go no necklace for this look because it's already got a collar anyways. 
Oh, okay. We'll do a little bit of gloss. I love this Tower 28 gloss in Cashew. Oh, this is like one of my favorites. I will say on a day where I have like little tendrils hanging in my face, putting on lip gloss is asking for trouble. But like, it's so pretty. This lighting, I can't. Okay, let's go film the last little bit and then run to the store together. And then see where the day takes us. Got the goods. I just realized that I probably could have started this recipe and then gone out because the biscuits part isn't until later. But honestly, I'm glad I just got it out of the way. So it's fun. So we got the big can of biscuits. What we're gonna need is chicken breast, chicken broth. We use this better than bouillon. That stuff is great. We're gonna get some carrots and celery, and then onion, and then two cans of cream of chicken soup. Gorgeous. Oh, also um, some thyme, some oregano, salt and pepper, all the cozy things. We have fresh thyme and dried oregano. So, you know, use what you have. So I'm gonna chop my veggies first. Actually, I think the veggies, it says they go in later, but I feel like last time I tried that, everything wasn't cooked enough. So we'll see. So we got the crock pot here. This to the side, and I'm gonna grab a hood board. Ooh, you know what? I'm also gonna grab this little, got this little doohickey that we got like, I think during the pandemic. It's like two little wood pieces. You do this, you rest your phone on it for your recipe, or if you have like an iPad or something, you can do it that way. It's quite nice actually. So yeah, this is called, I'll link this recipe for you down below, obviously, but this is called crock pot chicken and dumplings from Delish. And that is what we're gonna be making. We want something very cozy, very comforting, very rich. So that'll be really nice. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's a burner. Okay, in she goes. I feel like I've tried like every method. I've tried chewing gum, I've tried putting on glasses, I've tried sharpening my knives, and I feel like sometimes when an onion is just really burny, it's just really burny, <laughs> you know? There's not much you can do about it. Just do the rest of this bag of carrots, and then we'll chop up the celery. I just did the whole carrots in there, do you care? No, mm. baby carrots. I can smell the onion upstairs. Oh my god. Brutal one. All right, now we're gonna add our celery. By the way, the carrots, like you can obviously cut those up if you want, but we don't care. We just added the whole ones, so. Whatever feels right to you, you know what I mean? Then we'll just add our celery to the pot. One of my least favorite jobs ever. Drew usually handles the meat. It's okay. I'll take one for the team. We'll just nestle those babies in there. <laughs> Beautiful. And then we'll season them up. Okay, let's scooch this in. Can you even see that? No, probably not, but that's okay. I'm just watching the video to make sure I'm doing all the steps right. Onions, I'm doing veggies. Chicken breasts, oregano, salt, and pepper. Okay, so we're gonna hit it with some oregano. This isn't coming out very fast, but that's okay. Too many like dried herbs really ick me out anyways. We'll do some salt and pep. And while I'm here, the recipe doesn't call for it, but I'm just gonna do like a clove or two of garlic. Is this garlic? Yes. Just add some extra flavor. I mean, this is empty, so we'll just do that. Then we add our two cans of cream of chicken soup over the top. Okay, and then we're gonna need two cups, I believe, of chicken broth. And this, um, better than bouillon, calls for one teaspoon per cup. That is what we're gonna do. Put it in some water, and then put it in the microwave. You can use a kettle for this, whatever you want. All right, there we go. I'm gonna start with like half of this. Let's see how I feel about it. Do we need the other half? Yeah, we do. 
Just kidding. Crock pot recipes always look kind of sus in the beginning, but it comes together, I promise. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this and cook it on high for, I believe around three hours. Then we're gonna shred the chicken, put the biscuits on top and cook it for another hour. Oh yeah, I also forgot to add the fresh herbs on top. Well, the bay leaf is dried, but then some fresh thyme is gonna sit right on top. See you in three hours. It is three hours later. I'm in my comfies. I've been doing computer work over in the living room. I'm going to take all the chicken out and then shred it and then put it back in. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna take out the chicken, shred it, put it back in, put the biscuits on top, and then it's time to party. So you just take your two forks and you shred all the meat up. Just basically, sorry, the sound is absolutely wretched. I'm a little more meticulous. Like I'm sure you could just do like literally that, but I like to make sure it's just very finely shredded. I don't like big chunks of anything really, but especially meat. We'll just time lapse this so you don't have to hear it along with me. <laughs> Taste test time. But before we put the biscuits on. Oh, it's delish. It tastes fine. It needs oh, salt, yeah. but. Yeah, I did add like what I thought was too much salt to the chicken. And then with like the bouillon, I was a little scared, but I was like, we can always add more. Beautiful. Okay, next we're gonna cut up the Vickies. Throw our little sachet of herbs away. Oh, actually, was that both bay leaves? Yes, it was, okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Now we're gonna pop this open. Drew literally can't pop one of these. He gets so afraid. He's like, no, I can't do it. Literally, here's how you do it. You hold it, you smack it on the counter. That's literally it. I'm just like, I don't know. I know it's like a very real thing. Like people, I've seen people like shake when they try to open these. I get that it's like a freaky thing if it pops and makes a loud noise, but just bang it on the counter. I don't know, that's what I've always done. Okay, so we got our little biscuits. We're gonna cut them into like quarters, I think, actually. Probably a little smaller than that. We'll cut them into like six. And then they form these little cubes and then you just lay them right on the top and those are your little dumplings. You can obviously home make these, but this is just much easier. Okay, and now this is what it looks like going back in on high for another hour. I forget how to do this every single time. See you in an hour. Also side note, we discovered, I think my mom was the first one who told us about it, but I don't know how we haven't heard of it or maybe it's been recommended and we just like weren't paying attention, but my mom recommended that we watch a show called Bad Sisters on Apple TV and it is so good. We're so into it now. I think we're maybe like three quarters of the way or just like a little bit over halfway through the first season. And like, I thought it was a brand new show. And so we were just like watching these episodes and it takes place in 2022. So that's just like what we thought that the show took place in 2022. And then we realized yesterday, Drew goes, are there two seasons of that show? And I was like, I don't know. So we looked it up. And the second season premiered yesterday. Like I literally pulled it up on my phone. And I was like, the second season premiered today. So we're very excited. That rarely happens. Usually you have to like wait a year. And so I'm glad that we discovered it late. Apple TV honestly does have like some really good shows. Shrinking has become like one of my favorite shows. It's so, so good. And season two came out in the last like couple of months and we've been binging that. What else have we been watching? We started an HBO Max series called Breath of, Breath of Fire. Fire. Yeah. That one's crazy. We love like a any kind of cult documentary. It's not been as good. Like we were we were coming off of the high of like the Mother God. What was it called? Love has won. Oh. He went. That oh. was like peak. That was like we peaked. <laughs> that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. And now we're just trying to chase that high. And I know. Nothing's ever going to be that wild. Your stuff is good, but... Yeah. It's definitely, like, we've seen some good ones, but that was... I mean, if you want to see, like, if you're into cult docuseries, documentaries, Love Has Won on HBO Max, truly, it'll blow your socks off from the first opening scene. Whoa. Anyways, um... Yeah, so we're gonna watch a little bit of Bad Sisters. What else? The Bake Off is back on. I think maybe potentially we're gonna attempt 
um, our first kind of like bake off recipe and we're really, really excited. We're gonna do, kind of do like a test run for our friends coming over this weekend because we decided that as a hobby together, we're gonna try baking. Where are our friends coming over? Hey, it's your birthday, I already said that. Oh, <laughs> Earlier in the vlog. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Typical Scorpio, gotta be the center of attention. <laughs> but um, we decided as a hobby, we're gonna try learning to bake together. And actually last Christmas, Drew's aunt got me a Great British Bake Off like cast recipe book kind of thing um, from I think two seasons ago, I can't remember. But um, we've bookmarked a few of those that we're gonna be trying and I think we're gonna try like, I don't know, one every couple of weeks, one every week, one every month, who knows. But we're gonna work our way through that and then maybe like get another cookbook because I think they have a different one for every season. So that'd be really fun to kind of do as a little, a little experiment. But yeah, in the meantime, while we're, you know, sitting here about to watch our show, I figured I'd put you on because it is truly spectacular. And yes, I am turning on the fireplace at 4.20 p.m. while the daylight is still out. I just love it, it's so cozy. And we still haven't styled the shelves yet, but we'll get to that. And now it's time. Ooh, it smells divine. Can you hear that? Well, probably not over the ice machine, but look at those bubbles. Wowie zowie, look at that. All right, taste test time, and then it's back to our show. Hot, but good. 10 out of 10. We literally decided the day we were going that we were just gonna go out of town. So we packed in like an hour. We, we literally dipped and today is Drew's actual birthday. <laughs> and we're at Disneyland. We're the same so, age. Um, <laughs> we are the same age for the next month and a half. Anyways, we're at Disneyland for the day. I don't know how much vlogging I'm gonna do, but we just had such a good day yesterday in Laguna Beach. We stayed at a hotel that Alexa and I have actually stayed at before, but we, um, they like renovated it. It's brand new and it's been nice. So you will probably have already seen that. We had a great time. And now we're gonna have a fun little Disney day. Alexa and her husband are coming later. Some of our other friends I think are gonna be here. So it's gonna be a very fun birthday and the weather is perfect. And it's Christmas time. I'm so excited. And I have my little Tigger outfit on. Can you see that? Cute, but I'm so excited, and we're at Disneyland. Look. Okay, so it's right before eight. We open, well, rope drops in three minutes, and we're hoping to get on Indiana Jones first, and then I think the Matterhorn after that. I don't know what's going on with this camera. We'll work. We'll work through it together. So excited. <laughs> Alright, just kidding. Indiana Jones line was crazy, so we got a fast pass for that. And now we're going on this birthday boy's favorite ride, the Matterhorn, aka like the chiropractor. We're about to get all realigned, neck, back, and everything.
on a ride. It used to be Splash Mountain, now it's Princess and the Frog. <laughs> oh my god. I've seen nothing but videos of people getting absolutely drenched from head to toe, so we have no desire, but maybe in the summer. great trip for Drew's birthday. We're actually gonna head home now, enjoying our final little morning. We walked and got coffee, it was really nice. And now I'm gonna take a little break before Vlogmas, because there's just lots to prep for. I don't know in what capacity I'm doing Vlogmas this year. I don't know 100% if I'm still doing like every other day. I don't know if I'm doing one a week. I haven't fully decided yet, but I'm gonna do something. So hopefully you're excited for that. And I will leave you with this absolutely stunning view to say goodbye and I will see you in about a week for vlogmas. I can't believe it. Okay, bye.